Good luck. Welcome back. We're in week, I think, 125 or 124 of the Shogi Ladder. This is a fun activity where we get to play games together, and then after having played the games, review the games together and see what we can learn. Um, so every time I play this opening, I space out a bit. Um, just there are a lot of things to remember. But yeah, if they exchange the bishop, if they were to drop here, I could protect both of these pawns. Uh, this is actually... is this not a mistake? <laughs> I've tried this before. Um, it works better in cases where the opponent has... like if I'm playing Gota, and they've pushed the rook pawn and uh, opened the bishop diagonal, in that circumstance this bishop retreat back here is unavailable. Here, this bishop retreat is unavailable. So, I wonder if I exchange here, threaten to drop here, they could drop the bishop here to oppose that idea. Um, I could exchange bishops here, and then that's blocking the rook. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Life's too short. We're going to try something, and it's going to be fun. <laughs> um, so, now I've tried this before in different circumstances. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I'm not sure where we are uh, in terms of this working or not. Um... But it seems like a real pain to defend against this bishop. Well, there's a proverb, do not uh, move the center pawn in the bishop exchange opening. And here, they moved the center pawn, and then the bishops got exchanged. So, like, technically it's following the proverb, but um, the spirit of what this proverb implies is that if bishops are getting exchanged, this is a big hole. And big holes are pretty uncomfortable to deal with. Um, that said, I've got some holes in this position too. It's like this pawn is loose. Um, I've been thinking about this drop the whole time here. Um, if I drop, they drop, I pull back, they take, I push. It's the same as if I just push the pawn immediately. I'm trying to figure out how do I gain some advantage from this weird move order. Because there's got to be something here. I just don't know what. Well, I just have a long-term advantage that that's a weakness they can never heal. Do I have a shorter-term advantage also? That's what I'm curious about. Like, if I hit this, they have to defend it immediately. If I hit the rook, they have to protect the rook somehow. None of the shots seem to immediately profit. I could push this pawn first and then drop the bishop. That looks interesting. That looks like a gambit. Uh, one that probably is not terrible. Um, if I push, if they take, then I drop the bishop here. They can only prevent one of the two promotions. Yeah. Um... Meanwhile, however, if I do push this, they still have a bishop drop forking these two points here and here. Why am I not concerned about that? Maybe I should be. If 
if I push, if they fork, uh, I could defend, they promote, well, if they do this fork, do I have some counter shot? Um, I can hit the rook and the lance, but the rook can move to protect the lance. I could take this pawn, I get a promoted piece swarming in their camp. Um, hmm. That's complicated. I could drop the bishop here immediately, threatening this. They would defend it. I would take the center pawn, but then my center pawn is prone. Um, I think I have just one too many things hanging for my counter tactics to be extremely effective here. Yeah. Let me double check what they're saying. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, we've got an adventure on our hands here, folks. <laughs> uh, this is... Yeah, I was taking minutes for that move. I was, really was thinking the whole time. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, our proverb of the day, or at least of this hour, attack with the rook, bishop, silver, and knight. Bishop is just one of those attacking pieces, so if it were to go on a solo journey trying to fight the entire opposing army by itself, that might not be the recommended way to do an attack. Mm -hmm. Our proverb says use all your pieces, dummy. And, you know, someday I'll get better at following advice. <sighs> all right, let's do it. They insist on putting the rook here, so we're going to play static rook, despite having pushed this all the way out there. Or, at the bare minimum, I'm going to make room for my pieces somehow. But yeah, this, this is interesting. If the silver moves to the right, it's abandoning the king. If it's going to left, it's protecting the king, but this side of the board gets harder to defend. It's so complicated. It really is. Um, I'm giving them a, a giving them and myself many things to think about. <laughs> There's so much to consider. It would be nice. I mean, I could attack this, could have attacked this last turn. Maybe should have, I don't know. Um, <laughs> if they move the king, I could potentially push this pawn and drop the bishop here. Oh, well, I could oppose that, but I could... I don't know. It's getting complicated. Um, somehow I'm massively optimistic, despite not having anything concrete here. Um, This is so pushing the rook pawn is just in general a good idea. No reason to avoid generally good ideas at this time. Let's do it. So, yeah, they protect the king, but the side is challenging to defend. That's my contention. 
as being somebody who's had to defend against this sort of attack because I've played opposing rook before. And it's not the easiest shape to play. If you play it well, it works well, but boy, it is challenging to play. Uh, I could drop the bishop here and then take this. The main challenge with that is making sure I don't lose my bishop. So if I drop here, if they were to push the pawn, I take this. They could hit this. Actually, they don't have another pawn in hand just yet. But when they get another pawn, my bishop's going to be dancing around a lot to try to avoid hanging. Hmm. Oh no, this looks fun. Let's do it. So they must defend this, but also I'm threatening to take that, push this, and drop another pawn here, and then back that up with the rook. Welcome. So we're in emotes only mode because I do take the games seriously enough. Um, yeah, this is a 81 dojo rated game. So uh, audience participation in the form of emotes can be kind of fun, but it's kind of hard to spoil through, through emotes unless you go out of your way to do so. So that's why we're doing it in that mode. Um, let me check. Did I put chatty up on the screen? I did. Cool. So that does get captured and put in the video. All right. So I take this. I'm threatening two pawns. I'm also threatening to push this. Um, but further, I'm defending this point with my bishop. This isn't just an attacking thing. So if I push again, and if I drop here and then rook takes, they do have this gold fork, uh, which I missed. Is there some other way about this? Well, they trapped their rook. They're going to have to move this gold again. Um, <laughs> Further, I could push this right now, and then bring the bishop back and take this. Maybe my bishop's done its job. Um, that's a thought. Probably I push this one first, they take that, then I push this one, or do I do it the other way around? Um, I don't know, this is... Either way, we have an exciting game afoot. So this gold and this silver have broken away from the king. I want to hit the king. Hmm. If I push, if they take, if I drop the pawn, the rook moves. Oh, and then I could drop the bishop back. Oh. That makes sense. And I'm still threatening to take the pawn, so this gold has to go up, and then I could pursue stuff on the other side of the board. 
Um, still no mate there. Um, Wait, pushing this pawn doesn't actually change this dynamic at all. I also miss that if I push and if I drop here, they play gold takes. Uh, although I could sack the bishop for the gold, drop the gold here, and try to continue attacking, but it's just not going to go well. No, they've successfully defended against this attack. They've used two generals to do it, but this defense is successful, which means I need to attack on the other wing. That's what's going on here. All right, so we attack on the other wing. Which is the move we wanted to do, but now I've justified why. So now I'm hitting this. Um, maybe there's some bishop drop to defend it, but otherwise it's just going to hang. And that doesn't mean I have to take it immediately. Well, actually, this could move. Hey, pawns in this game can move, guys. I keep forgetting this. Um, but pushing the pawn that's part of your castle seems exciting. Inadvisable might be another word. Oh, wow. That's a blunder. Like, unless I'm missing something critical, that... How do they defend against this advance? Dropping a pawn to defend this doesn't... Okay, they drop the pawn here. Um... I think I just spooked them. Like... Okay, now there is a continuation here. Incredible. Um, wait. Uh, this is wild. <laughs> so if I were to take this... Well, okay, if I don't take this, they play Rook Takes Pawn. So, I kind of have to take it, unless I have mate over here. And maybe I do. <laughs> like, it's not unreasonable to think I have a strong attack on that side of the board. But, um... If I bring the rook over, if they take my pawn, if I take here... Well, they have taken a pawn, they could just drop it here. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna take this... We're threatening to advance this pawn. Mm-hmm. What a position. A position. If I go up, if they move the gold, if I go back, if they move the gold up again, I could sack the bishop up here. Whereas if I go here first, if they push the pawn, if I go up, well, I can eventually take here. That's kind of cool. That is super wild. Um, hmm. If 
I go up, oh, the silver could pursue my gold. Um, bishop up, gold up, bishop back, one of their pieces gives chase. Um, the gold still protects here, even if it keeps moving upward. Okay, this looks too interesting. Let's go. There's a lot of tactics. The main thing is that I want to activate this rook and have a dragon swarming the opponent's camp. The side thing is it would also be cool to sack the bishop for this gold. Um, as long as I don't get mated. Uh, but yeah, in this timing, the silver is hanging, as is most of my army. So I have to be a bit careful not to let, like, the silver drop to some fork. Uh, they could always push the center pawn, things get kind of dicey. So I'm debating pawn up, gold up, or bishop up, gold up, bishop takes, king takes, gold drop, rook moves somewhere, gold takes, knight takes, promote the pawn. I guess the knight can move again. That's one variation. Another variation is they push this, I just move the bishop in the way here. Oh. Though that... That's tactical. Um... That's very tactical. Extremely forcing. So I basically have to move. They could drop the bishop here. I take knight takes. Um, hmm. If I go up, yeah, there's this fork. We exchange. Um, hmm. Okay, this position's unsafe, but. Um, hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. My rook hanging is not making this easier. My hanging rook is not making this easier. Oh, hey, look. Time pressure. I should not have moved instantly, but I've been thinking even while I chitter-chatter. Um, but no, this fork is spooky. I think I'd be forced to take it. But I think my defenses against this rogue knight are more than adequate.
uh, like one step away from now. This pawn advance is not entirely free, but you know, once this moves, I'm very, very close to my rook promoting in a time where it's good for it to promote. So, bishop drop, bishop takes, knight takes, gold 5, 2, protects this point. And then I can hunt down the knight and while also continuing to renew this threat. While also there's bishop drop threats everywhere they have to contend with. Arguably my rook could drop back. Oh. That's a free piece. But this is hanging. Um, they really want this pawn. I guess I'm giving them the pawn. Oh, hang on. Let's not despair just yet. Okay, so I defend all these points right in front of my king. Um, thankfully there's not some fork. I should have looked for this fork before stepping into the variation, but as it stands, if rook takes pawn, bishop drop, rook here, rook takes knight. That's one variation. There might be others. But if I can spot at least this fork and the rook being overburdened, um, we're in an okay position. Alright, I'm not going to block my rook with a pawn just to try to collect the knight. So, that's why we're moving, or dropping this bishop. Um, that's a fork. Admittedly, once the rook protects the silver, I'm only winning a knight, and they have a lot of tactics, but I think I prevail in all of them, so that's why we're doing it. Um, Yeah, since they don't have a general in hand, it's fine for me, my rook and bishop, to be adjacent like that. But potentially, if they could get uh, a general, then I'd have to avoid this shape. Earlier, I had to make a decision between gold 5-2 or, oh, I'm sorry, my notation, gold 5-8, or bringing the silver out to defend some points. I selected the gold because this shape seems to cover a lot of squares, including this one. Maybe the silver was the better call. Maybe the gold needs to be back here. I don't know. 
I think this way uh, covers more ground, but leaves me a li little bit more open if they have extra pawns to drop and force my pieces to disperse. Like, if they could drop a pawn, my silver would have to take. If they could drop another pawn, like, things start getting dicey. But they only have one pawn and one bishop. But yeah, gold would be a more solid shape to defend this. Or to def the gold would defend a lot of this area a lot more strongly than the silver can. But, um... I think my defenses are adequate. So, yeah, I have lots of loose pieces here. If I go back, they drop a pawn in front of my rooks. I'm going up. Unless there's some stupid shot that I missed, but I don't think so. Um... Alright, so upward and onward. I guess maybe they move the rook to hit the bishop? I don't know. The rook's loose, the silver's loose, this is loose. Most of both players' pieces are hanging here. Um, but yeah, the simple threat is rook takes knight if the rook moves away. I'd expected the rook would move away trying to attack down the center file. But that's not what happened. Um, now the bishop's committed. It's dropping a bishop like I did is super committal. Yeah, our proverb we had at the beginning of the live stream was attack with rook, bishop, silver, and knight. Uh, so attacking with just a bishop is kind of weird. Kind of usually not the thing you would do. Um, Alright, so if I take a silver, I'm threatening a rook. If I'm taking this, they could sack the rook, I could take a knight. That's one way this could go. I mean, that's probably the simple way here, right? Sanjuvio. Simple as a relative term. Hmm. I don't like it, but it's fine. Mm-hmm. So we've entered a mutual attack. They're threatening to take this gold. That's the line that persuaded me this would be okay. So, yeah. They actually get to check me first, if they really want to. Um, but I observe that this bishop is hanging, and they, it would be very aggressive for them to sack a dragon to check me so, to allow them to drop more pieces to attack. This defends the horse, silver, and rook while continuing to attack all of their hanging pieces. Um, it's true, I don't have a dragon yet. It'd be nice to have a dragon, but what can you do? Every time we exchange, I'm going to get two pieces for one. So, 
These two for one deals are pretty nice. I'm pretty sure I checkmate here. So, silver takes. I mean, I was maybe overly confident. Um, hmm. And might pay some price for my hubris here. Sanjudio. This horse and promoted silver look super awesome. That's what motivated me to go down this line. but it might not be winning. Sanjudio. Sanjudio Wow. A mature response. That did not show up on my radar. Sanjudio. This is it's so complicated for them to defend if there is any defense to be had. I fully expected them to take the knight and go down in some kind of blaze of glory. Um, this is some other kind of blaze. 
Just unfortunately, the rules of the game forbid certain kinds of pawn drops. So that's just that's what Nifu does. Nifu giveth and Nifu taketh away. Sanjubio Sanjubio Yonjubio Gojubio Itch Ni San Shi Go Lok Shi Hat Sanjubio Yonjubio Gojubio Itch Ni San Shi Go Lok Shi Sanjubio Yonjubio Gojubio Itch Ni San Shi
30秒40秒50秒30秒40秒50秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五。三十秒。四十秒三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四。
30秒40秒30秒40秒50秒1234567830秒40秒50秒12345678九。3030秒40秒50秒12I missed the comment. I can actually read it.
I picked up the pace of my own court because I'm completely winning this. Yeah. Their comment was, ah. But yeah, here. I get the piece back. And their king is not defended. Once I have all the rooks and all the bishops, there's nothing more to look at. Unless my king is checkmated, but it's not. My king owns this board. I'm still attacking the rook. It's true I've not succeeded in my aim of collecting all the rooks and bishops. I've failed at that objective. I'll live. I will survive that. I will survive having failed my initial objective there. Um... I just have all the pieces, so I win. Yeah, our opponent is very good at defending against checkmates. 
and it's I don't know. Maybe I did miss a mate there somewhere. I'm not too choked up about it. It would have been really cool to find it for the sake of making an awesome video. But I'll live. I'll be quite fine. I'm still making a half-hearted effort to search for checkmates, but it's just not easy. Um, Sanjudio Next for game. Yeah, we finally found a, something that approaches a checkmate toward the end of the game. Sorry it took me so long to find something there. Um, Alright, so... <laughs> now comes the fun part, right? So, we played the game. What makes the teaching letter unique is that we get to review the game afterward. Hooray. For visual interest, let's throw another proverb up there. Interposing a pawn makes a splendid move. <laughs> Did not quite uh, cut it this time, unfortunately. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, what a slugfest. Um, uh, I'm curious how they want to review the game. <laughs> uh, I probably missed a mate somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Maybe this is B2. Okay. Yeah. Ah! How do you spell beginning? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Cool. Five seconds. Five. Four. Three. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, there was a dynamic this game for sure. Um, a very dynamic dynamic. And so much dynamism. Um, I guess it helps to know what is and what isn't checkmate. And so it was easy for me to play very aggressively in some sort of knowledge that uh, my king was safe. Um, 
maybe I was overconfident. Maybe my king wasn't as safe as I imagined. All right, cool. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's calmed down a lot. Yesterday there was a severe wind check in the area, but yeah, everything's fine today. Um, so overall, this game, oh, this was kind of exciting. Uh, Yeah, <laughs> I've pushed this guy. Turns out it's extremely risky to push that in the bishop exchange opening. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, center pawns moved. Uh, Uh, so we're on move seven, and already it's wonderfully unclear what's going on. Uh, I have protected this, so yeah. Um, uh, So, like, this has to protect this point. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so, like, in general here, like, that's a fork. Or that's a fork. Um, or, like, this sort of thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm defending the left side and the right side of the board. Um, Yeah, so this is this is quite the mismatch here, I think. Um I don't even know. Uh maybe it's not even best. Like maybe I've got something even better. I don't know. Um This looked too dangerous, uh, cause, uh, what was it? I was like this and that, and I don't know. Um, you take here, I take there, you take my knight, uh, I take this knight, I, <laughs> like, I could not figure this out. This is too much. So that's why I moved the silver. Uh, 
Yeah. So I guess I could try this defense. That's a good point. Um, and then like this, this is threatening stuff. Um, it's so incredibly sharp. Uh, I just didn't know. This is extremely sharp, so I just decided I'm going to defend this point. Got all these points defended. Um, yeah, this... Uh, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, what do you say? Yeah, that's this just looks like a very favorable position for me. I can attack anytime I want. My bishop could go anywhere and you have to defend against everything. Um Yeah. This is such a sharp game, so... <laughs> yeah, so this here, this looks dangerous. Maybe an engine can refute it. Um, but I'm not sure I can refute this. Uh, it looks hard to refute. You can play a lot of stuff in Shogi openings, and many, many things are playable. And this looks like one of those things that's, like, borderline playable. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, this is risky. <laughs> uh, this is kind of extremely risky. Uh, like, uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, yeah, <laughs> so I'm sure, again, there might be some shot somewhere that somehow refutes what they've done, but um, I don't know, maybe this? I, like, this is just extremely confusing. Um, um, maybe this, we just bring the silver out. I'm gonna let this hang. And just assert that, you know what, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, maybe this. With you, like, hanging this, and that, and this, like, something's got to give at some point. Um, but, I don't know. Something has to work here. I couldn't find it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, especially if you never have time to castle, then, like, this is awesome for me. Uh. Yeah, 
so that's just such a radically I don't know it's such a timing uh, but I didn't see how to attack so This is just the. Uh, this just gives them time to do what they want. Um, maybe I had some dramatic finishing move somewhere, but. Yeah, so it makes sense. They want to build a castle as quickly as possible here. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this, I decide to play this because it looks kind of fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you really, really tried to castle, and I tried even harder to prevent it. <laughs> it's not fair, because, like, you're trying to do the right thing. And here I am, just exploiting the weakness. Um, <sighs> yes, of course, there's this trap. So, like, that's a thing. Uh, so, it's an idea. Uh, yep. So this is a possible thing, if you really need a way to stop the thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Random question here. Oh! Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. You can have the host as much as you think is appropriate to have it. This is really a discussion, and it tends to go best if the person with the questions is the one leading the discussion. Because <laughs> um, otherwise I have to try to guess what the questions are. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's an interesting shape. Um, I don't know why they would do it. It seems weak on the left and weak on the right, but maybe it's possible. Um... Hmm. Um, it's kind of weird seeing only two generals connected on each side. Uh, So, yeah, Shogi Ramen might play this shape. Um, I think this shape is fine, too. Um, uh, yeah, 
Twin gold is a more common shape. So... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's move order um, where you play this first and this and that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exact copying is pretty hard. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, but yeah, this shape with the twin gold and the silver. Uh, uh, so I'm like threatening this fork here um uh, so you could argue like this stops the fork um maybe but um yeah one could ask didn't i have this fork earlier <laughs> Like, when did I first have this fork? Um, can I just, like, do it right back here? Heck if I know. Um, it's like this hits this. Yeah. Uh, so, what's slightly different here? Um is that uh... <laughs> that's true too yeah so like yeah the uh uh go to attacking ideas and the other line aren't quite here uh, this is simply quite messy, unless there's some line I'm missing. Um, maybe here I have it. I don't really know. So, like, now I'm threatening this and this and that, and so this is moved here. So, like, maybe, uh... Yeah, I wimped out, so... <laughs> That's why we got what happened in the game. Uh... So, yeah, I played, uh, uh, so, like, yeah, here, um, if I'd, uh, like, had I waited one more turn, had I, like, pushed this or something, um, then they can just, like, do anything here, basically. Um, mm-hmm. You 
can still like build a more normal thing. Um, So, yeah, that was the trick here, is that I'm either gaining the pawn on the right, or I'm preventing the castles they want. Um, yeah. So they're kind of forced to defend this point. I mean, arguably, this could be weird. Um, hmm. There's a lot going on here. Um, So, like, I don't know exactly what those castle options are, but, um, mm -hmm. maybe this is risky, uh, This here uh, is risky, yeah. Whereas, like, building it this way, um... <laughs> so, there's risks everywhere here. There's no perfect shape. <laughs> uh... Yeah. So I could like push this, uh, or if I were. Yeah, if I could somehow like use the square, that'd be great. Uh,. Uh, so eventually I'll gain one tempo. Um, uh, so here... Um, there's weaknesses on all four sides of the king. <laughs> so, uh... Uh... Yeah, like, we'll get to com attack somewhere else uh, while you complete your castle. So you're gonna, like, uh... King eight two silver seven two. Yeah. Uh huh. That makes sense. You're so close, so incredibly close to defending the king, and it, it's what you want to do. Um. Uh, you're thinking. Uh, uh, yeah, well, 
let's see how it works. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I was surprised. There were some chances. Uh 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 the bishop drop and extended pawn coming together. Ah yeah yeah yeah. This here. Uh Oh, this. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's why I just threw it away. Um, yeah. Um, uh, So I'm trying to create more holes here. Um, so this just surrenders upon. Um, yeah, so after you take my pawn, like, there's no time to defend this. Um, yeah. So if they like brought this up, that'd be a different matter, but uh somehow uh i don't know yeah so i'm gonna be hitting that um So your counterattack, by the way, when I say counterattack, uh, um, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was cool that, like, if they do that, I could take here. I don't know. Like, this is a possibility. Um, um, hmm. Maybe there's some other trick here, too. I wonder. I don't know. Like, this looks pretty cool. Um, at some point, they can't just keep taking pawns. Um, yeah. Let's 
so I was fortunate to have that. Um, yeah, this is complicated. Because, uh, like, there's also this. <laughs> this is where things just, like... I mean, maybe there's that, but maybe I don't have that. Um, I just don't know. Uh, hard to say. <laughs> um, Um, this here is just, uh, yeah, so the golds can't retreat easily, so. But here, like, um, uh, suddenly have three attackers, and you don't have three defenders. Um, so this is kind of a major issue. So, yeah, it's that was a major setback, unfortunately. Um, it, but it's super uncomfortable trapping your own rook like that. Uh, yeah, it's... It was quite close. It was a really good I trapping idea. Um, yeah. I see. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh. Interesting. This here, they didn't expect. Um, oh, I uh, thought I would just take in the pawn. Let's see. Uh, I mean, maybe I had something amazing here, actually. I wonder. Can I do this? Hmm. This might be better than I imagined. Uh, yeah. So, like, uh, this takes, this promotes, this goes over. Uh,. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This looks complicated. Um. Hmm. This gets so complicated. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, where are we? Um... This, I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the skull drop is not a good idea. Hmm. looks so complicated but um yeah while i might survive this i'm not confident about it yeah uh yeah it's such a hot mess um I wonder, uh, I'm too curious about this position. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's the best we could say about this position is maybe, because, like, everything's hanging. It's hard to know anything. There is no objective reality anymore. Uh... So, what was this? Bishop 4-5? Hmm. Bishop 4-5. Oh, it's the same thing, isn't it? I was going to say, let's drop the... Well, we could drop the bishop back here. So, like, there's this defending that and hitting this. So, so many tactics. Um, so probably at some point I do actually need to defend this. Um, and having defended it... I mean, maybe this happens anyway. I don't know. Um, but then maybe I sack the rook? Such a mess, but uh, hmm. that looks interesting to solve, but during the game, I'm like, nope, we're not going to do that line. Let's pick something else. Um, uh, Cause yeah, I think they were assuming this would happen. And even here I might be fine. It's just funny. Um, Yeah. Maybe. Um, like, hypothetically, uh, maybe this is a thing. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, or yeah, I guess they could take this. Um, oh, and then this is hanging? Or yeah, I guess there's this rook fork too. Um... <laughs> uh, 
too much fun. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think uh, it's probably fine to just drop this. Um, and against that, I have no idea. Uh, it's such a wild position. Anything could happen. Yeah. Um... But yeah, so... King is still working hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I wondered if you're just like going to give this up. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, something like this might be possible. Um, uh, so, maybe I have threats as well? I don't know. Um... So I could take here, and I just, hmm. Uh, yeah, engines could solve this. Um, um. This looks super sharp. Anything could happen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So, like, this is loose, this is loose, this is loose, that's loose, and then we push that. Um, hmm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we entered the end game and I just didn't build a castle at all. Uh, but that was kind of weird. Um, I kept thinking, well, okay, they're going to build their castle. Uh, I mean, this could land anywhere. Uh, this could go anywhere. Uh, this could go up and around. Like, uh, it's so flexible. And all the pawns are moving, too. So... Um, yeah, it's just, uh, um,
Yeah. <laughs> Normally I castle a little bit earlier, but here I just couldn't figure out like what they were doing or what I was doing. <laughs> the American way. You don't... It's a joke. But yeah, if you're confused about your plan, how can the opponent know what your plan is? Uh, Yep, there's nothing to fall back on here. Um, so, um, so, like, arguably there's one of these moves, but... So, so like, yeah, this general, uh, these are actually pretty far away from the king. Uh, all right. I'm not sure. I'm guessing that's just a random internet blip. Internet blips can happen to anyone. Um, maybe they also they just tried to hit the wrong button and something happened. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the rest of the game, sure, I might have had some attacking ideas. I might have had a checkmate somewhere in the midst of that wild attack of mine that just somehow dissipated. Our opponent does very well reading variations. Um, and they're working on the more fundamental uh, principles. But no, we've had some really sharp games before. Um, you, yeah, to get to 6Q... I mean, a lot of people these days have taken to watching content from a variety of sources that are friendly to amateur players. So it's quite entertaining and educational to watch and learn from uh, folks like Shogi Ramen. You can pick up a lot of things that way. Um, and yeah, by trying out these ideas in the ladder, you could see which ones work and how they work for you. So, yeah, I too pick out ideas from things I've seen. It's all fun. But yeah, I hope we enjoyed this analysis. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around.